Sandra Dorset. That's the lady we at the a lot of things at the beginning of the game are coming up. Okay. V. You're V, right? You find the data bag? Someone's back in tip top shape. Trauma must have put you back together in no time. Yep. Good as new. Still, if not for you, it wouldn't have been anything left to put back together. Never got the chance to thank you properly. Wasn't there someone else with you? Big guy? Whenever you get a chance, tell him I said thanks. Um, yeah, about that. Jackie's dead. <sighs> no. My condolences. It... it wasn't because of me, was it? No. He was killed by Arasaka. Wasn't too long after we found you. Jackie always had too much cool to let anyone know he gave a shit, but after everything you went through, he'd be happy you remembered him. Anyway, what matters is that we're still alive. Now, about that, um... The data bank, do you have it? Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that, well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was gonna go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scavs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You wanna talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. Alright. Going in there now. Oh, she lives right opposite the mops. Well, not too right opposite, but anyway. Magician. I only know about tarot cards because of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My, uh, friend told me your memory'd be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, n no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? If it's not the scavs you're worried about, then who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything. It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? I'm a professional. I have a reputation to uphold. Hmm. Good. Then here you go, for your professionalism. I threw in a little extra for minding your own data. Thanks. Be seeing you. That is minuscule. <laughs> Alright. I think, uh... We're gonna have to wait for Denny's. 
Denny's. Yeah, that's the name. I think I should do this. Hang on. Said speed is not gonna be key, so this. Yeah, it's gonna be down there. But anyway, down here and a bit early, but anyway. Claire, you coming? I'm already here. Great. Be there in a flash. Promise. Right on. See you soon. Wait, hold up. Which rig are we using? Mine. Mine. No argument there. Be right over. Later. Hey, I bet a bundle on our win. Losing's just not an option, eh? Hey, look. Samson. Fresh meat. Hmm. <laughs> Be embarrassing to lose to a rookie. Chill. Gonk will probably crash out on the first bend. Oh, really now? Why is the car facing the wrong way, man? Mm -hmm. That is a brilliant looking car, though. For the wing. And the General Lee. So, what do you think? You are not winning in that car, bro. Neither are you. You I'm afraid of. But I got guns. I got guns. Hey, V. Good to see you. So how's it looked here? Give me my take once we cross the finish line. Provided we arrive in one piece. Hey, focus on winning. Yeah, I'll go heavy on the throttle. Seem to be a lot of corpos taking part. How can you tell? Used to be one. Letting off steam after hours was key. It was either that or stress, burnout, and a trip in a trauma team ambulance. Well, people don't have heart attacks on this circuit, but ambulances come in handy. No consequences for corpses in these races? Cops don't care who dies. They just funnel the data through their accident reports. Bullet to the brain counts as a traffic fatality? Depends on the street. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's wild. Any tips before we roll? Don't take your foot off the chew. My job will be to slow everyone else down. Ultimately, it'll be speed, not firepower, that'll win us this race. Go fast. You Got just it. told me. Oh, take this shard. What's this for? It'll show you the route. You'd be driving blind without it. Didn't she just say that, no, you're gonna have to kill a bunch of people in order to get first? We need to hit all the checkpoints or we'll be disqualified. If you want to hang a bit, do. I'll be in the rig. When do we start? The shard. It's all on there. I'm paraphrasing, but isn't the whole point of these races kill the guys around you or at least try to win? Oh, the sound. Well, car guy, these are these are the sounds Three, I love. Two, one. Don't jinx it. I think they can do it as a net runner.
self destruct. Keeping up. Sharp bend coming. Hold on. All units in the area, order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. Heads up, car a few backs looking to ram. Good luck with that. I mean, it's pretty far away now. I forced this car to break. In a professional race, being a netrunner would be unfair, but this is the streets of Night City. Anything goes. Excuse me? Why did I... I didn't even realize it said two. I thought I killed that guy. Hey, this guy really sounds like a Japanese tuna. Heads up! Car a few backs looking to ram! Good luck with that! Said that twice. V and Claire are victors! What did we just see? We fucking won! First place! You sound surprised. First fucking place! It's not that I'm surprised, it's just... I know. First place. I heard you. Let's hold up at the finish line a minute, just in case. You got it. That was... Do these races every year? My fourth time this. First time out, I won. It gets you hooked. I can't give it up now. Can't or won't? What's the difference? You do this for the eddies, the winds, the glory. Why do you race? It's like you've got laser focus. You don't like winning? Of course. Who doesn't? See? That we got in common. And I always like to finish what I start, so let's win these damn races. That is the plan. Need a lift to the shop? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go. That is my car. What an insane machine. I hope in the, I, I'm really hoping for car customization in uh, Cyberpunk 2. Or what if Cyberpunk Orion is what it's called? Even this too. Big supercharged SUV. Not SUV. What's an SUV? <laughs> Say I'm a car guy and I call this an SUV. No, it's a pickup truck. Or as I or as we call it, a bucky. What the Those guys were driving an invisible car for a second and then they vanished. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Spot. <laughs> okay. That was strange. Anyway. Hey. Gigs all set up super sweet like. Tonight, at the Red Dirt. Talk to Carrie. Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. 
Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. All right, welcome back to Cyberpunk. Looks like that was very, very, very good timing. Time to head back to... Oh, God. Okay. I think I'm gonna fast travel there. <laughs> in a hundred-year-old car... Well, in-game, it's a hundred years old. It definitely does not handle like it's a... Like it's a modern-day car. Ah! Sorry. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Dunno if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whisper Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. Thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. <laughs> How about you tell me what happened with Henry? <sighs> Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. You got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. What happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me. Partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street. Total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heartstrings. What'd you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How are you feeling ahead of the show? Weird. Like... I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? Ain't he good? He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time, just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again... Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. I got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. <laughs> Ready to thrash? Have fun. Yes, Carrie. There you are. This is Drowson from Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed of it. She's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shaking under control. 
think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crag got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And missed you too. All right, let's do this. Fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Wanna do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it, as a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. That was the gig. Hella preem. <laughs> Samurai's found its new groove. Damn shame I had to miss it. There. You can still come to my show. No, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with. 
when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and... Woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. V, how are you feeling? Can't believe that asshole Carrie just up and left you like this. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. Is it that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. Hope that's it for last requests. Not sure I can handle anymore. It is, and I'm starting to regret you agreed to this concert thing. Here I thought I'd hear. Thank you, V. Said it was important to you. This thing with Carrie. It was. But not more important than you. Carrie's got his life back, whereas we should be worrying about how to get yours back. Let's go. I mean, I don't want to do the final mission yet, but I am going to do it before Phantom Liberty. need to let's see what else I can do in the meantime but there's this oh and this but we're gonna be end up doing this anyway this is just a, a thing all right in a bit Judy how are you feeling shitty but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. Gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many. So people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before 8. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Okay, I guess we're doing that for Judy now. Oh. 
all the way here. Legendary thing, yeah. Legendary tie iron. <laughs> hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Hmm. Guess I know the type. Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Some spooky sounds coming from this mega building. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. What the? Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, which you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Now that's a perfectly justified okay. reaction. Since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen?
tiger claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Okay, Hello. good. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. All right, you know what? That's Judy. Okay. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over Clouds. As if it were her idea. You might be on to something. Gonna be any dialogue? You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you a deck chair and a mai tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, nope. me and the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. She walks very slowly. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Fine. Want you to do it. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Okay, we're going after him. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? P. 
piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Sure about that, Johnny? Michael, why don't you fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here, go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Wished you a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, V. Yeah, that's the fate. Nothing more than a meat chunk now. You absolutely deserve that. I thought I'd uh, feel more... I'd be satisfied. Uh, punch the ground floor to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling... It was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. What's going on? That's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> You're like about that. to know my oh, red. You're screwing with my head. If you have that kind of mentality, then eventually you will get rid of a lot of evil people. No point in being hopeless. something big appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough Michael only works with specifics for a minute there thought you were about to call it quits V I go for days tuning virtues in a basement know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there minuscule same as Michael's empathy unlike you I don't put myself out there but this ain't over not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Well, all right then. 